to get started, we'll first install Laravel and then we will configure all the things. So I don't have Laravel globally installed, so I use Composer to um, create a new project. So create project Laravel slash Laravel data studio tutorial. Let's just say it's named like that. And while this is downloading, I will also like to tell you that we are going to use a seeder which um, can generate a lot of sample data. So let me open up a gist which I'm gonna use. Okay, I had just created it, so let me see. Right. So I have this you know small little gist created which will help me seed a lot of random data which we will use for our analytical purpose. So I have a few common names in here you know, as username. You know, that's what I'm gonna use. I basically Googled for you know, the common names in the last century and I got these and I added one on top, that's me. Okay, and then in projects, it should have been projects, but anyway, so in projects I have a few random names. I have YouTube, Google Play, Vue.js, Twitter, MySQL package, JS album, website, whatever it is. And so what we are saying is when we use this factory, it will create a username, it will choose anyone from this you know, array, you know, a random element from that array. We are choosing a project from that array. We are going to take a date time between last six months and now, right? So that is there and random time. So this is going to be an entry where I have a random time between one to eight hours. I'm thinking of reducing it to maybe one to three. So we have, you know, if even if there are multiple entries in the same day, I don't exceed the eight hours. I mean, it's just a dummy data. So I haven't uh, done a lot of conditional things in here, but uh, basically it will help me create some you know, general uh, generic data which I can use in my SQL. So using this, what I have done is you can see I have created these uh, 40,000 uh, rows in my database which I can play around with. So queries uh, can be created for example select, let's just say select um, username comma sum. I, if you can see I just did that. So sum time underscore entries dot time okay and from time underscore entries group by let's just say username okay so that's a lot of data i know but uh, that's fine i mean we can still use it for an analytical purpose so um yeah i mean these many hours will not be spent but uh, that's fine. I think we can we can live with that. The basic idea is how we can you know use this data and you know, get into the Google Sheet and then communicate with Data Studio. So my Laravel is installed. Okay, and let me open up the code base in PHP Storm. So I have my PHP Storm set up with this code base in my ENV. Let me quickly set up the mysql database so my database name is tutorial underscore data studio so it's still indexing so it will take some time tutorial data studio and um, anything else i think we can do one more thing which is php artisan make model i need the migration factory for time entry okay we will need this for sure okay the indexing is kind of killing the entire thing but okay let's just wait i think it's almost done or maybe i'll i'll come back once the indexing is done all right so the indexing is done it says uh, enable laravel plugin i highly recommend you use this if you are using php storm it gives you a lot of you know, beautiful auto completes um, in php storm for example you know you can get the config names very easily you can get the route names very easily so yeah that's that's uh, sometimes very handy okay so to to, to you 
right tutorial data studio okay that's fine now i should have a model in here yes time entry so the first thing which we need to do is we need to say that we don't have any timestamps because uh, if you see the cedar right we don't have any timestamp here okay the only thing which we have is time and we have the date so we don't need the timestamp so we can skip that so i'll do timestamps equals false that will tell laravel that you know the this um, model doesn't have any timestamp in it can okay, guard it is empty that's done now what else do we need to do we need to go into our migrations folder and create this so let's just say we have table it's a string table which is username I have one for project I think we call it project right so let me just copy this project date date is going to be a date strings uh, date field so date I'm calling it date so that's done and then I have time right so time can be um, unsigned integer time and with that one two three four one two three four and i get rid of timestamps this should uh, basically work for us so migration is done inside the cedar okay i'll just clean it out first create the factory time entry factory right time entry factory can i just copy this i think i can why don't we just grab this part i mean I, it's fine i'll try to keep it safe so i'll just take this much piece from here and uh, hmm, some problem so yes this is how the data is this should do the trick so what what basically we need to do is in here we will do factory time entry class okay let's say if we add 10 and run the create method right because this is the you know model for which this factory is defined you now this time entry so whenever we call a factory method with the this particular model right this factory will be called and this data will be created for us so now although we have the um, data in our database we can try once with 10 so let's see how many records do we have we have 40,000 odd records so if we do php artisan db seed class equals let's just say what is the name of our class it's database seeder right should result in 10 extra rows you can see it's right at the bottom if you see my cursor right it's 40,010 if I run once again it will be 40,020 and so yes I mean we have the data and let's query the latest 20 so select start from time entries order by id descending limit 20 that's the 20 rows which we have created so you can see I have time I have random dates and it is picking up things you know how we had set up however surprisingly i don't see my name in here in username that's fine i think it picked up from a long list of random names so um i, I didn't you know manage to come in there but yeah all right so we have forty thousand records forty thousand plus records i would say that's <laughs> additional 20 so we have good amount of data to play around with so now let's see how we can create a google uh, developer console project we need to do that so that we can get the basic communication with our api and the google sheet